13 shocking discoveries made in Ireland. Number 13. Zombie Graveyard Found in country Roscommon, this gruesome discovery was made in 2011 by a team from the Institute of Technology Sligo. They found a graveyard from the 8th century which wasn't terribly shocking until they discovered that skeletons buried in the graveyard have been interred with a large rock placed in their mouths to prevent them from rising from the dead. In Ireland, the mouth was seen as the route by which the spirits entered and exited the body, and was thus why rocks were placed in such a way. Number 12. Clonny Caven Man Clonny Caven Man was first seen falling off of a peat cutting machine in February of 2003. Discovered in Meath, this 2300-year-old human was found with some sort of gel in his hair, which was slicked up into a mohawk. It appears that he was murdered violently by an axe as he has deep wounds in his skull. After being found, Clonny Caven Man was relocated to the National Museum of Ireland. Number 11. Iron Age Bog Butter Bog butter is found annually by turf cutters in Ireland. Earlier this year, a 2,000-year-old chunk weighing 22 pounds was found near a home in Eglig Bog. That's nothing compared to the 100-plus pounds of 5,000-year-old butter that was discovered in Talamore in 2013. The food substance is thought to have been buried in ancient times as a form of refrigeration. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like, butter made from cow's milk that is buried in a bog. Number 10. Cashel Man the remains of a 4,000-year-old human were discovered in a county Laois bog in central Ireland. It's believed to be one of the oldest bog bodies ever found and was dated to the early Bronze Age around 2000 BC. The remains of the man were found without a head and from all indication it appears that he was a young king who for whatever reason fell out of favor and was the victim of a ritual sacrifice. Upon unearthing the body, it was thought to only be 3,000-year-old and be a female. Well, that sucks. Number 9. Burial Discovered Under Pub Good times For over 500 years, historians have thought that the Irish are descendants of the Celts, an Iron Age people who invaded Ireland between 1000 and 500 BC. An Irish man discovered the remains of three humans while digging land for a driveway next to his pub in 2006 that could change that way of thinking. DNA evidence shows that the remains of the three skeletons found predate the Celts and their arrival in Ireland at least 1,000 years. Number 8. Lindua Kyle Discovered in 2010 near the village of Anagassin in the county Louth, this Viking settlement village was built in 841 around the same time as the settlement of Dove, Lynn, or Dublin. The site was used to build and repair ships before eventually being abandoned in favor of Dublin. The find is evidence of one of the earliest settlements of Vikings in Ireland, and it's estimated that at its height, the village contained 5,000 Vikings with up to 200 ships. Number 7. Ireland's Oldest Burials An excavation near the River Shannon in Hermitage, CEO Limerick, undiscovered two early Mesolithic barriers that are the earliest ever identified in Ireland. The burials were radiocarbon dated to approximately 7,500 and 7,000 BC and have great historical significance. It indicates that formal burial in Ireland was taking place way before the development of farming and settled communities. Number 6. The Darren of Flan Horde When this horde was found in 1980, it was hailed as one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of modern times. It was found by a father and son metal detecting in the area. The hoard consists of a richly decorated 9th century silver chalice, a large 8th century paten and stand, an 8th century liturgical strainer, and a bronze basin from the 8th or 9th century. Apparently, the treasure was buried to conceal it, very likely from Viking raiders. The discovery led to years of legal action between the finders and the state and eventually led to the National Monuments Act of 1994. Number 5. Early Budavent Budavent is a town in Ireland that was founded around 1208. When its main streets were being dug up for resurfacing work in 2015, a group of archaeologists were called in and made some very exciting discoveries. They found the remains of a town wall, a cobbled street, and an underground chamber dating back to medieval times. The findings will help researchers better understand the medieval street layout of the town. The town has been through a lot. It was sacked by English forces twice, once in 1569 and again in 1691. After the second attack, the town remained in a state of stagnation for over a century before finally being revived. Number 4. 12th Century Brooch 
New York University student McKenna McFadden was in Ireland this summer for a school-related trip when she stumbled upon this incredibly rare 12th century artifact. She was with a group being led on a tour on Olney Island on the west side of Ireland when she noticed something in the sand. She didn't think much of it until she showed the find to the archaeologist leading the tour, who was very intrigued by the piece. It's called a kite's brooch, and it's used to fasten a cloak or shawl. The artifact is only one of a few ever found in Ireland and is now at the National Museum of Ireland in Dublin. Number 3. Box of Bones Thousands of bones were discovered in a cave in County Clare Island by a team of scientists in 1903. Eventually, the bones were put in a box and sent to the National Museum of Ireland where they lay largely forgotten for a century. The bones were recently re-examined and a bare bone was found that established the fact that humans were on the island 12,500 years ago. While archaeologists have always suspected that there were humans in Ireland much further back than once thought, they didn't find any evidence to prove this theory until this latest discovery. Number 2. 4,000-Year-Old Necklace like so many discoveries made in Ireland, this ancient necklace was found along two discs by a farmer who was cutting turf in a bog. After a few years, he passed the necklace on to local chemists who kept the historic find in his shop safe, where they remained for years. Then in February 2009, two thieves grabbed the safe during a burglary and left it in a dumpster in Dublin. Detectives literally went digging through dumpster after dumpster until they luckily found the treasures with four hours to spare before the trash was going to be collected. Examiners from the National Museum's Irish Antiquities Division called the pieces one of the most important archaeological finds for many years. The necklace was worn by the early kings of Ireland and it dates back to some time between 2300 and 1800 BC. And now for number one. But first, be sure to subscribe for new videos every day. Ancient Latin Psalter a 1,200-year-old religious manuscript was discovered in 2006 by a workman operating a mechanical digger on the Bog of Fadden Moray, near Riverston. The importance of this book is immense and its discovery has been called more important for Ireland than the finding of the Dead Sea Scrolls, which was for biblical scholars. It changes scholars' views about how ancient Irish manuscripts were produced. The Psalter contains 60 pages from vellum, a parchment made from animal skins that were inscribed with a complex text of all 150 of the Bible's books of Psalms.